Hello everybody, Glitch Reaper here, and I'm about to make my way back to Mars to raid that dungeon. But first I have to do a little bit of crafting. As you can see, I went a little crazy with shearing some sheep. Um, I found a, a very, very large set of flocks of sheep. <laughs> like, seriously, and there was an oddly large amount of black sheep, but just not enough to make it as crazy as the white wool. So, eh. Not, not the craziest proportion, but uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to be able to pull this off, and I uh, have to do it with uh, just any color wool around redstone, so just like four each. So I had to get like 96 wool, and I used up about half my shears, and I was literally going sheer crazy. I, I could not stop myself from just going ballistic with with the sheep so I overdid it but that is fine because you kind of needed to it was one of those things where that was the good thing to do because I'll probably need a lot more wool over time for various reasons see is there any use for this in witchery I'm trying to remember because I think I remember some poppets using wool Mostly decorative. Right, we're getting somewhere. Uh, detector for sheep. Yeah, if that was long range, that would have been uh, somewhat useful, but I think my flying around helped. Elephant harness and chest, so that's uh, more creature stuff. Kitty bed. Uh, yeah, I, I remembered poppets needed wool. So, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I made a good decision. Oh, also, if I want to, I can make earmuffs. So maybe if I don't already have them. I'm trying to remember if I've already made them or not. But earmuffs are useful for doing witchery because you make yourself basically completely immune to uh, mandrake screams. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about them giving you a bout of nausea. You just kind of uh, grab them and go. So it makes it, like, so much easier to deal with that. Now, this resembles normal armor, but it has no armor value. It's only really meant to go in these slots. It, this gives me protection against Mars. Oh, need to recharge my first oxygen tank. So I might as well do that while I'm still here. Because I, uh, I haven't departed yet. Luckily this is pretty fast to recharge. And I can just, uh, while that's refilling... I can fly up and get these ingredients off to my witchery section, because they're definitely more witching ingredients. Also, miscellaneous uh, skeleton or two showed up, so I got a bone. Well, it just burned up in sunlight, but whatever. It was just pretty convenient. Uh, I don't know if that if they're if they can use any colors, so that's an interesting question. I also got myself a spare, like an extra sheep, just in case. Uh. But the question is, do I want to put the sheep around here? Because things might fall off. I I might I might get myself a, a a better location for the sheep. So I guess I'll put this in here with some of my witchery stuff. Because if I'm gonna be needing a large supply of wool over time, then this might eventually wear down. So the sheep will contribute. Uh, now let me see here. Is my oxygen tank ready? Wrong thing. There we go. Because some... Yeah, that's what happened. He got in the way. I clicked with this. It accessed the bag first. But yeah, nearly half my shears. <laughs> that was a lot of durability lost. So, but it, it was it was well spent because I got a lot of wool. Uh, <laughs> it's always best to shear your sheep rather than anything else. Uh, my armor has been holding up pretty good this round. So... I guess it just got, I guess the previous set just got way more pummeled by Montaigne uh, and other things I was doing. But yeah, I think this will have a little more life in it before I retire the armor. Way more than I expected to. But I definitely will be giving it a, a location. Oh yeah, this was my previous set. I did retire it here. Oh wait, no, this is the set that's on me. Okay, yeah, that's right. That confuses me sometimes how they have that set both ways. But you do this... It's on there, so that's what it's going to look like after I retire my armor completely.
So I'm just clicking that back on. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep up with that set for a little while. Okay, so time to prepare. So I'll do that. Make sure I got those things on. Some air supply. Hammer is already on teleport because that's how I got back here after doing so much sheep. Okay, let me see here. Uh, dungeon M1. Yeah, that's the one. I think I can actually add way more, so I may not have needed to remove that one Lunar City. Because I think it's just that you have to give each one that you actually add in a name. So I think that's why my hammer was being a little ornery there. So let's zip here, and this time I will have my thermal protection being perfectly fine. Come on, zippity. It's long distance, but I've already gotten out of Morph, so everything should be okay. Also, Morph isn't going to be as useful down there until I get to the boss fight. Because I will not really be able to fly around very well in those conditions. Yes, my poor neck spirit will be taking a serious hit. Oh yeah, okay, so I do need to go down carefully. Okay, so now I can unmorph again and drop down in the dungeon. Did that? Oh no, that didn't light up. Now oh, that was weird. Forgot how much more health they had. Oh, it blew itself up. Okay, that's, uh, it's one, uh, spawner that's never gonna make it. Uh, is that lunar soil, or is that the, no, it's not fluid. For a while I thought that was that, uh, one of the fluids added by all the mods. But no, that's, that's not, that, we're, we're okay. We don't have some weird, uh, scum-like stuff going around here like the sewage does. Which is bad stuff. Mars stone. Yeah, the regolith is definitely everywhere because Mars is very rocky. Nope. Yep. Whoa! That was perfect. I got its head on the way down and did. How do I still have nine redstone left? I thought I. I thought I used that all up. Oh no, I got it from something else later. Okay, that's right. Okay, so that, that that's fine. Say, so I thought... Oh, you, you got in my way again. Uh, it's good to have a companion until it's bad to have a companion. But, I mean, they, they do protect you from death. Oh yeah, they're giving me the redstone. Alien creepers give you redstone. That's interesting. And now their items are basically in orbit. Because they're stuck in... Well, I wouldn't call it really basically in orbit. I mean, it's just stuck in a web. Oh, uh, hello. I do like the juggle. Because it's a pretty good juggle I got going here. Oh, that needs to be illuminated. wonder they're sneaking around the corner. Me in to get all this stuff. Yeah, I probably could just smash it with the. Milner really helps with these things. <laughs> I have so much thanks to give to this hammer. <laughs> it's probably not going to stop anytime soon either. <laughs> it's just such an excellent hammer. Okay. Oh, need to nom myself an orange. Oh, I think these are two. Okay. Weird how I'm having more trouble with. Ether two later than I am earlier. Like, what was up with that? Because you usually think of the more stable uh, modded version being 1.12.2, but for some odd reason, I've had a lot more luck doing Ether two in this pack than I have with my other packs. Mega rubber trees. Uh, the bi I've had experience with that. They are big trees. It's always nice to have an extra bucket. To Thank you. Demonic Lightning Scepter. Don't mind if I do. Disposable item turret. I don't know if I'm ever going to really need the turrets. 
I don't know if I am, because I have a much better thing in mind. It's much more expensive, but then it's just way better. So, yeah, I can use this as a general dump chest as well, kind of. It's not a chest exactly, but it'll do. Okay, so... But yeah, I mean, I got something in mind that if I decide to have anti-mob security, it will be way better. It's just something you don't see very often, actually. It is in the pack. It's just something a lot of people wouldn't even think to even look for. But it's something that's totally cool, and if I'm going to be given a clue about it, it's like a nice mob. It's something very specific in the mod that's awesome. And it makes your uh, base security a breeze. So I am going to have fun with that because I'm pretty sure, other than maybe a few uh, wither fights I need for it, that I have pretty much all the resources I need. Because, I mean, I've got that laser drill just giving me stuff. It's hard not to have all the resources I need. And I can always wait for it to recharge and give me more stuff. Turret base, tier 1, mudshot scepter, frost web scepter. I don't I don't know if I have that one, but because I know I have a lot of the other one out of the two, like, or two or three. I don't know how many music discs fossils, fossils and archaeology has, but I know I've collected several of them. It's just kind of been that kind of thing. Uh, single use safari net could come in handy. Yeah, I might as well line up all my scepters because they're scepters. Uh, turret base, turret. I'm actually doing pretty well in the inventory space since I've already cleared that out. Just needed to give it a little push. I mean, to be perfectly fair, I can always teleport back and forth to my base, so... It's kind of like I've got access to all that stuff quickly. Oh, you, you literally came up into the air and followed me. That was slightly new, because usually zombies don't jump that well. But it is an evolved zombie, admittedly. It's not a normal zombie, it's an evolved zombie. They've evolved to learn how to jump. Normally they just walk upstairs. They might as well just pop one in the middle of the room just for extra lighting. Uh, I just love this method of illumination. Nice, it's magical, it works in places where torches don't. I think I have been able to put down more lights with it than I would be with torches, in terms of, like, my magic reserve and... Okay. Time to juggle a creeper. Oink. Mars gravity isn't really that much lower, so you're sort of jumpy, but it's not like the moon. The moon is just ridiculous. Uh-oh. Okay. Anti-projectile attack. And this does not work on webs. Okay. Yeah. I almost forgot that it does not count as a genuine sword. That makes things a little bit uh, problematic sometimes, but it works. Okay, these things are usually corner caddy of each other. Oh, present. Sweet. And just for good measure, I'm pretty sure I hit a web. Yeah, pretty sure I hit a web and it invalidated my, my little light spark. I mean, it's not a big light spark and it has... Uh, admittedly, there is one downside to using this method of illumination when you're casting Lumos spells with your magic branch. Or a mystic branch, actually. That is, it seems to be slightly pickier on placement than your, like, your usual torches. So it can be a little odd. Haha. Uh -huh. Got them all before I got out of the web. <laughs> that was efficiency. Looks like 
Oh yeah, that's right, I can't actually shear the webs that way in this version. I'm hearing spiders. And other things, possibly spiders? Oh! We have reached our destination. Uh, do I want to beat him with an orange? I think I kinda wanna beat him with an orange. Because in this particular fight, it doesn't matter what you're using as a weapon. So, I'll even give myself a slight health penalty. Because I need to fly to a very optimum position to do this. And I can use anything to work it, because I'm about to face the evolved creeper boss. Okay, start shooting. Got the good position. Gotcha. Come on, let's- oh, okay, you hit me? Admittedly, you did. But I'm hitting you a lot more than you're hitting me. Okay. Okay, that one got through. No matter how much you spam, sometimes the shot will get past your barrage. I got the angle, I got the angle. Ugh, but he still hit me. This is really good armor, though. This is really good armor. I gotta admit, Crystallium first is a good idea. Ouch. You hit me. You got me. Oh, he's in charge state. He got me a couple times in a row. Uh, congrats, Mr. Super Creeper. But you can only hurt him in this method. You only can reflect the shots back at him. There's, like, supposedly, like, almost no other way to do it. Well, I'm kind of curious if my void damage from my other weapons would be able to. But I think it's, uh, uh too late to ponder that, because he's down. <laughs> Wow, barely any of the creeper eggs even triggered. I'm gonna eat you- I'm gonna eat that orange I just beat you with. <laughs> okay, there, there's like one little creeper over there. Baby evolved creeper. It wasn't even a full-grown one, uh, because obviously they just hatched. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, it's- it, it knows it's doomed. It doesn't, it doesn't want to fight. It's like, yeah, I know that this is not a good choice. Ah, uh, just in case. I can... How did that not give me a new morph? It was a baby evolved creeper when I hadn't really fought a baby version before. And this key looks really weird in your inventory compared with how it does whenever you're about to actually use it. Just saying. Huh. All that glowstone really does seem to do enough to illuminate the room. Just enough. Okay. Welp. You know the uh, meta of the chest? The key looks awesome in your hand one way, but disappointingly small in the other. I mean, what is it with this graphic? Okay, I need to check something. I'll be right back and save your seal. You're about to die again. But at least you keep coming back. So, and uh, at least I didn't need you. So, oh well, anyhow, I need to do that thing. So I'll be uh, right back. Okay, I'm back and it's time to see what all I got. And, e well, you, you've got some time, so it'll be fine. A bulwark burger from Like Knight's Mobs, copper ingots, saddle, another uh, nice bucket there. Okay, now I know I definitely got both records. I'm pretty sure I already did, but I'm just not 100% on that. Okay, the important thing I noticed is I th got one of these schematics. I think you're guaranteed a schematic, even if not like... Uh, Exactly the, the right schematic. See, I also got music disc 13 while I was at it. Oh. Okay. I am gonna have to really set up my jukebox. I think I've got one somewhere. Unfortunately, you can't really break these. At least I don't think you can. Could I mule near this? I mean, is this something of which I can mule near? Because I'm kind of pondering. Could I? 
of Mjolnir these. I mean, it's 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 definitely something that would be just freakishly awesome if that could work. Could I Mjolnir these? I mean, I it's not like you're gonna get to them without beating the boss first. But I am kind of curious. I mean, can I totally, utterly, like, break the, the, the need for a key? Okay, I got this on teleport mode, but now I got it on mining mode. Okay, I can't hurt it that way, but we know that the throw does its own thing. So, uh, wow. That actually worked. Okay, for a while I was... The, the shade of that just keeps making me think it's going to be, like, terrible, terrible stuff. Ooh, I got... I think I got some raw dash. Because I think that's what this new stuff is I just got. Unrefined dash. Okay. Thank you, Hammer. You are just so... You are just such a divine gift. Oh my gosh. But... At the same time, I may have the chest, just because, but, um, and I could probably go back to my Lunar Dungeon just to get that one, too, as an additional prize, because that just sounds like a cool idea. I should, I should have these in. I mean, wait, can I even do this? Can I even reopen this without the key? Okay, I'm going to put this in a position I know I can whack it. No! Okay, it truly becomes a trophy item. You can't get the key back. So, the only way to really open it is with the key, but you can, like, harvest it with the throne hammer. But then, you'll never be able to actually really use it as a chest, so it's really genuinely a trophy then. Okay, I clipped a little more than I thought. I was going to try to aim to only just hit the chest then, because I've got a decent amount of this dungeon stone. Well, I don't know. This, this, I, I could probably get some more of this, of this, uh, du dungeon break and make something with it maybe eventually like I could harvest some of this can can I do that normally yeah I can I can harvest it normally I don't know what mining level is but I know I can do it uh, I have a trophy chest that's all it's there for uh, meanwhile I need to uh, get out of here before my uh, my companion poofs again okay so I might be back at some point just to harvest more trophy chests because <laughs> that is that is hilariously awesome. Okay. That was a thing. <laughs> Although, again, that does bring up the concept of the fact that the key will not, however, be the key to the right thing. I think the other thing you could get in there is a uh, automatic cargo rocket. I'm not sure exactly what all you'd use that for, but I know that's a thought. Uh, but I'm not sure if you can use the cargo rockets the same way as you can do things in uh, 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 advanced rocketry. Like, I don't think you can use it to just... Well, I think you can kind of do mining missions with it, but not the same. Anyhow, let's, let's do the unlocking of the Tier 3 rocket. Okay, it's unlocked. So let's see. What would it take to get a tier three rocket. Just trying to figure it out because I know this will be a long time off because it took me a ton of resources to get the second tier rocket. Oh my gosh, it's so much more actual new stuff. Uh, heavy nose cone, heavy duty plates tier three, which requires compressed compressed dish in the previous thing. Oh, okay, so that's a one-on-one -on -one thing. So I, I, I probably actually have more than enough dash because of my laser. Uh, but it's the other stuff that'll take it a long time to recharge. Because it's been through some things. Uh, heavy rocket fence, again, kind of like the others. Heavy rocket fence. Oh, there's two different ways you can do it with either the Tier 2s or the compressed titanium. Huh. I have seen some titanium, but is it... No, I don't think the compressor is or dictionary compatible with this kind of titanium. That's an interesting thought, because I have seen titanium ore in my uh, in my laser, but I don't think it's Galacticraft ore. So I would definitely have to do heavy mining with my hammer. A heavy rocket mm -hmm. engine. 
uh, tier three. And uh, again, I do I did uh, put Galactic Craft planets in here, so it would probably be able to go to like Venus and otherwise. But obviously, it would be a long time before I could do that because these will require a ton of resources. Okay, some of this is just the standard stuff, but then of course it just requires more heavy duty plates that are even more than the others. Although admittedly, it won't be too much more of a step than making the tier twos because I just need the compressed dash, and I have plenty of dash <laughs> already. In fact, let's just just go over here for a moment and just see how much I already have, because I should be able to reach from here and check this out. Uh, 35 dash! <laughs> and I think, I am not entirely sure, that I might be able to do that with my... You know, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take all the dash I've got, hit it with this Fortune 3 pickaxe that uh, took a, uh, some effort to build. Why, do I have any titanium in here other than... Nope, not that one. Aluminum, yeah, that's Galactic Craft. Cheese, obviously. Uh, nope, it does not have titanium ore from, like, anywhere else, so that is a concern. But I will do the classic sky drop harvest, and oh, I just remembered I need to take off my oxygen tank. And, oh, that was actually close. Kind of. I mean, I had a whole other oxygen tank. I had a whole other oxygen tank, but it's just that just going through that dungeon depleted an entire tank. Or close to it. So that's interesting. Okay, please don't teleport up to me, save your seal. I need to actually smash all this. It's, it's just the way it's going to have to be. Just let me, please, just let me harvest all this, and then I can go in peace. J j well, I came in peace. Sort of. Well, I didn't really. I mean, I kind of invaded. And now, okay, remember, this is 35. So, I'm pretty sure I just want to leave in peace. Because I did not come forthwith in peace. For obvious uh, reasons. Oh, I did that perfectly. Holy goodness! Yes! You can fortune this! <laughs> uh, I think I have more than I'm going to need for that rocket. I, I, the irony is now I need all the other resources more than I need this dish. <laughs> um, okay, in fact, can't I use this for some other stuff? I mean, I know I can make... I, I, it directly goes to the dash ingots. But that's, like, the only way to do that. Atmospheric valve, arc lamp, terraformer. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, oh, you can make the tools and the armor with I think they are, in fact, super heavy in terms of tier. Like, all of them are better than diamond. Of course, in terms of tools, I, you can't go wrong with Mjolnir. Uh, launch controller. Okay, so th there is some automation in here. So I was wondering just how much they've got, uh, how much McDoodle had did with 1.7.10 before he stopped really servicing it and upgrading it. Dash stick. I think you literally only need that for the tools. Yeah, you only need that for the tools. But you're making a stick out of this solid material. And of course the compressed dash, if I can hit the button at the right timing. Yeah. Astro Miner Base. Okay, terraformer. Launch controller. Cryogenic chamber. Okay, uh, I don't know if we're going to have a mission that long. Uh, of course, the plates. Is there anything past the plates? Well, you can use, obviously, the electric compressor as a variant. Uh, so, let's... With the compressed dash, the... Again, can I do anything? Okay, I could do... Again, there is that stuff. There is this. Think. Okay, it looks like it's mostly used to make the rocket parts, and the like the high tier set and a few things, but getting, the plates are only for the rocket parts. Okay, well, I guess since it's going to be a while before I get to that rocket, then that means it's in fact about time for the great egg race, although I have made a bit of a decision, even though I did go to Mars and did get a slime pet, I think it would be... Uh, well, I, I, again, you could kind of time that and include it later. But I think it would be unfair to try to even bother including the creeper egg from mutant creatures here, because I remember what effort I went through to get it hatched in Crazy Craft 3, and 
I'm pretty sure it would be bottom tier pretty close in terms of hatching speed. So I'm probably going to like uh, get some eggs ready of various sorts. Maybe show how to get some of them and everything. And then I can have this nice little race where I'm seeing what eh, what pops up first. So yeah, next time we're going hatching. For now, this is a Glitch Reaper. I'll be logging off. Hope to hear from y'all later. So bye for now, and remember, keep your Minecraft crazy.